Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn about a hacker rank problem titled Manasa and Stones. Let's read the question and try to understand what the question says. Manasa is out on a hike with friends. She finds a trail of stones with numbers on them. She starts following the trail and notices that any two consecutive stone numbers differ by one of two values. Right? Legend has it that there is a treasure trove at the end of the trial. If Manasa can guess the value of the last stone, the treasure will be hers. Right? So among this, I feel like this is something what we need to be very careful about. Which says that there is some stones and there is numbers written on the stones and the difference between one stone to the other stone they either differ by x value or y value they differ by one of the two possible values right now there are some examples mis mentioned here right stating that the difference between the two stones will be either two or three and then the explanation out here right so you can read this explanation and then I've tried to demonstrate the same thing through the slides. Right? Now, you can consider that this is the trial of stones and the difference between the stones is either 2 or 3 which was specified with the problem statement. Now, what we need to do it is we need to find out what will be the value of this particular stone and what will be the value at this stone what is the possible values there will be only one value because it can differ by two of the possible values so it can be multiple possible values what are the possible values right now let me try to explain that initially you are in the first stone and the position is zero this will be a first stone the first stone the position is zero right now from the first stone to second stone you can either have a difference of two or you can have a difference of three so based on this we have two possible values at the second stone it can be either two or it could be three and again from second stone to third stone again the difference can be two or it can be three right now how many possible values you will have at this right you can either have 2 with 2 which is 4 or you can have 2 with 3 which is 5 or we can say 3 with 2 which will also be 5 or it could be 3 and 3 so how many possible values 4 possible values and again here right again it could differ by 2 or 3 so how many possible values will be right now let us try to understand this with okay the possible values with a tree kind of structure so initially on the first stone the position is zero now the second stone can either differ by two or three right assume if it is differing by two you okay the value in the second stone will be two but in case if it is differing by three it will be three right now you are in second stone again from second stone what happens you will either jump by two or 3 depending upon that the values could be 4 or 5 and again is from this particular position here assuming that you were at 3 meaning the first to th second the difference was 3 and again the here could be 2 or 3 so what are the possible values of the third stone it could be 4 or it could be 5 or it could be 6 okay I hope things are clear right now let's take a one more example wherein assuming that we have four stones and the difference between the stones is 100 or 10 right so again first stone the value is 0 so second stone can either be 10 or it could be 100 third stone we have seen that there could be four possibilities right the fourth stone how many possibilities from here to again here to here to totally how much 8 so from this what we understood is okay at this particular level we have one possibility here we have two possibilities and here we have four possibilities then here we have eight possibilities right and if there's one one more level the possibilities at the next level would have been 16 
Is this clear? So it is just increasing by multiplied by 2, right? So like 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 8, okay, 8 to 16, right? So you can just say 2 power n, clear? Okay. Now I'd like to uh, think of solving this particular problem. So one way to solve this particular problem and to generate all these possible paths is using recursion right okay now when you talk about recursion uh, one very important aspect of recursion is like there should always be a base condition which needs to be identified like for example if you consider a factorial if it's a factorial of 5 so you say 5 into 4 factorial 4 again 4 factorial is 4 into 3 factorial right then 3 factorial is 3 into 2 factorial 2 factorial is 2 into 1 factorial and then 1 factorial is 1 into 0 factorial but for 0 factorial we have to say it is 1 we cannot say 0 into minus 1 factorial so the base condition is something what we need to first identify because if you don't identify the base condition it goes into infinite recursion right so let us say we start from okay the first one this is my first stone right then this is my second stone third stone and fourth stone right now here now when you start with this we'll say okay fine you have four stones we are basically saying that okay we have four stones now once you jump here remember how many stones are left out three here two and here one remember you can start from four then three then two and then one right once it is one then there's no further thing it means it is the last stone but you can also do it in one two three four but in case if you say one two three four right you should also not only capture the value of the current one plus also the last one but doing this way is be much better when compared to doing it in this particular way right i hope it is clear okay fine now let's try to okay look into the implementation clear right okay fine uh here is Okay, let's uh, look at the implementation. Now let us try to understand how the input is provided. When you jump in here, you can observe that the first line will be the number of test cases, right? Since there will be number of test cases, so we need to ask the user about the now test cases, right? So we'll just ask the user, enter the number of test cases. You can use C out or C in or you can also use scanf and printf right anything is fine okay then in each of the test case in each test case what happens is the user will be entering n which is the number of stones and then the values of difference between two stones okay which can be captured using the variables e and b fine so in each of this while t minus minus So what should we read? First, the number of stones. Right? Okay. Now let me just increase this a little bit. Fine. Uh, we will be declaring all the variables as in when we use it. We need to use n. We also need to use a and b, right? So we will try to read that also I'll just say value of a and b right so I understand that anybody who has read the question should understand what you mean by a and what you mean by b after that I need to write the recursive problem right so I can just write find last stone value right meaningful names are always better but if you want to use you can also use the smaller names so we don't know about what should be the return type and what should be the number of parameters and all those things right so first we'll try to understand what we need to pass remember we have taken the value of a and b that we need to pass and then we need to also pass you're in 
which stone or how many stones are still pending for that as i said that we can start with one two three four or you can say four three two one so remember if i just want to go with one two three four i need to pass the starting value this we can say the starting value okay and this will be the end value <coughs> whereas if i just only pass on n right and then if i can just take it up like okay n n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 and i can go all the way up to 1 because 1 is a fixed value right so i i would rather prefer going from 4 3 2 1 rather than 1 2 3 4 so i'll be passing the value of a and b value of n <coughs> right i want to know what is the current stone value like okay when you jump to first to second uh, we've seen that if you consider two or three it could either be two or it could be three right so that value i want to capture that that i'll say stone value okay or might be current stone value and to begin with what is the current stone value it is zero and the first thing what you should do it is you find out the base condition where we need to stop we need to stop when the value of n is one right when the value is 1 so let's try to print the value of stone value right and then we'll just try to return it okay <clears throat> the control so as of now I'm not returning any value I'm just printing it when we reach the last stone right now otherwise what we should do it is we should again say find last stone value this is recursive call a and b will remain the same at every step the value of n will be decremented right but there are two paths one is the left and one is the right if you're going towards the left side meaning your uh, the difference you're saying that if you have two and three and assume a is two and b is three then you're basically saying that you're going in the direction okay considering the value is a so the stored value will be incremented by the value of a <coughs> right this for the left part this for the left part we should also do it the same for the right part right we'll try to do it for the right part okay it's for the right part done okay now let's try to run this particular program okay now if you want you can also have the input with you i'll try to test with one test case at one time GCC uh, did I include any header file of C++ there yeah okay uh, I'll use the C++ feature and tell you why exactly I'll be using that GCC then find uh, Manasa right compiled it fine okay i'll test with one test case number of stones three the values are two and three so you can just see we got four five five six clear okay you want to test with other inputs which are mentioned here okay we can test this also right you want to test exactly the same thing what is mentioned here number of test cases is two right and in the first test case n value is three value of e and b is one and two we got two three three four and remember uh, in this we are supposed to uh, only print this three ones okay no element should be repeated so we need to look into that also and this is the second test case right four stones 10 and 100 okay we're getting this but we are supposed to remove all the duplicates but before that you can just observe that the kind of explanation what they mentioned here if you can just observe this explanation and then what we got here we got 30 we got 120 then we got 120 210 120 right 210 210 300 now we need to find out how do i remove the duplicates right uh, if you're doing it in C, there is no built-in data structures or which will easily help me to remove all the duplicates. Again, I should write a little bit of code to remove the duplicates. But if you use C++, we have something called a set. And if you use a set, then what happens is like you just keep inserting the elements with a set. And then, okay, if the element is already existing, the new element will not be inserted, right? So I'd like to include this uh, set, right? And... This is C++ construct 
and here if i just print it prints all the possible values okay so i'll comment this i'll just say i would like to have a set i'll just write set of integers right you just need to create there's a function called as insert there i'll just pass on this value fine and once okay there's a global variable again so once i complete this uh, calling the function i'd like to print it so i can just print it um, i just use a for each loop for int element in s s is a set so i'll try to print it a space should be fine okay and because i'm using c out and endl i need to use io string fine okay now since this is c plus plus constructs so I, I cannot use gcc i would use g plus plus right and then uh, this for loop what i have used is basically c plus plus 11 construct so i should use hyphen std equal to c plus plus 11 right compiled now i'd like to run this okay how many test cases one test case i'd like to say three stones two and three got it five is not repeated now now again i want to run one right four stones 10 and 100 fine please do observe this and observe this output so are we getting 30 122 10 300 right we removed all the duplicates fine now i'd like to again run this with two test cases like whatever is mentioned here okay exactly the same and try to show you that will that work or not two test cases the first test case number of stones is three and then the values are one and two we got two three four fine and then second test case number of uh, stones of 4 the values are 10 and 100 so you are supposed to get 4 values 30 120 210 and 300 whatever you could see here I'm trying to explain the, this oh but I'm also getting this 234 why because it was from the previous entry I'm getting that once more okay to rectify this problem make sure that once the printing is done before you go to the next iteration so we can just try to clear the contents of a set this is a global one right so each test after each test case i need to clear the contents of a set so i'm just using s dot clear to clear the contents of the set right once this is done so we can do this and then we can run the same case two three one and two four ten and hundred done okay everything seems fine yeah if you want to know the path you can also get to know the path like you want to go know all the paths okay so i would say uh, i'll take up a string various paths taken up so i'll just write string path and every time you take the left what happens is okay here i'd like to print the path here okay right and then i'd like to say your yep, path gets updated with a you want to have a space you can have a space path plus you're going towards the b side okay now i just want to demonstrate this so that it looks more nice to understand but remember we don't need to really print this uh, in case if you are submitting to hacker rank right three stones two and three can you just observe a a a b b a b b right okay so this way fine okay uh if you want to submit in hacker rank you don't require this you don't require this and then you don't require this print messages neither you require this print messages fine till here everything seems to be fine okay so if you want you can even remove the path section if you want you can remove it and even if you retain it that's not a problem we'll take this up go there to hacker rank and please do select c plus plus because it's not c okay c plus plus okay so i'll try to just place this fine remember it's the same code whatever we just did now okay uh preferably c plus plus 14 what is available 
if you have C++14 right okay it will be better because regular C++ may not support this for loop so. okay done it has passed the sample test case now let's try to submit it okay so you will be shocked that it does pass some of the test cases but it will not pass all the test cases so that basically says that we have to look out for a better approach okay because there are too many um, branches which has been created and there's too much duplication you can just observe nowhere it is telling that it is wrong everywhere it's telling that it's timeout right see we are able to execute one two three four test cases here okay they were much smaller values and many others were not able to execute it because the test case was quite huge and as we have seen that okay like uh, at every possible next stone then the possible values just increases by 2 power n like for example to say for three stones it was like four for four stones it was eight for five stones it will be 16 then 32 then 64 128 256 right this way it will be too much okay so we have to look out for alternate methods fine we'll try to look into that we have observed that uh, recursion is actually taking a lot of time and then it's not only because of recursion but there's a lot of uh, duplication which has happened like for example 30 there's only once but you can just observe how many times the 120 was calculated one two three three times 120 was calculated right 210 was again calculated multiple times three times here and then 300 ones right so okay there are a lot of unnecessary things which are getting calculated again and again coming from various paths so we have to look out for a solution wherein it is much more efficient right okay to understand that way we'll just try to see in case if you are doing selecting this now we have took the path of a a and a so all the three times the difference between the stones was a only right how many stones are there four stones right so for getting this we call it as three a right any b's in this no zero b's it was there were zero b's here we never took any b's now if you consider this one if you consider this and then if you consider this one from here how many times a did we take two we had two a and then how many b's one b right now if you consider this then this and then this how many times a again two a right and then b one time okay now with respect to this one right uh one time a from first to second stone and two times b clear now here again how many times a is two times b is one this is b and these two times it is a right so i can again say two a and then one b right and here again okay if you can just observe this it is 2b okay 1a right again the next one also is the same thing 2 times b 1 time a and this is like 0 times a and 3 times b got it now can you just identify the relationships out here see there are 120 is repeated 1 2 3 in all the three cases 2a 1b right and then 210 you can just see it is 1a and 2b's right for this it is 0a 3b just consider this value this one and then consider one of this where you have 120 value one of it it is wherein you have 210 and then this one so if you can just observe this the value of a is from 3 then 2 then 1 and then 0 b is 0 1 2 3 so can i think of writing an expression wherein okay you don't need to calculate repeatedly wherein you just need to um, write an expression wherein the value the number of times the a is appearing that has to keep decrementing starting from 3 or you can say if there are n number of stones it starts with n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 and okay going all the way to 0 and then b should be like 0 1 2 3 right you can either consider for a or b right and then you can think of writing an expression okay and then we can generate these values 
right okay now one more thing what you can observe out here is if there were three stones the number of possible value uh, unique values was three and the four stones even the number of entry okay uh, different paths were eight the number of possible unique values were only four and then if you consider five stones the number of unique values will be only five right others were duplicated okay so from based on this we need to think of some expression i have made a copy of this particular solution into one more file which is as of now the same thing right i would like to do the changes in this particular case now uh, if you want you can retain this function but you can remove the recursion we just need to pass what is the value of a what is the value of b what is the value of n and since it will not be recursive so we don't need the stone value or the path right and this is going to return a set if you want you can return it or we can calculate everything and then if you want you can print it also right if it is global set is global you don't need to return anything but if set is local we need to return that set fine so it is better that we make it as local and return it that's one way okay you can do it right because every time we don't need to really clear the contents if it is global we have to clear it whereas if it is local every time you enter it okay it's going to uh, recreate automatically now what is the value of b for the first time it is zero then one then two right the value of a will be first time it was n minus one n minus two n minus three right so considering that i'll start from zero to i less than n wherein okay this basically tells me the different number of unique entries what we get so we get n number of unique entries right okay now in the first iteration right we have zero b you can just say b into zero right plus okay this is in the first iteration and then it was uh, if n was four assuming n was four right uh, since the value of um, i is zero so i should write minus one okay this is number of yes this is the number of a a into right okay now what about the second iteration the value of b will be one there'll be one b and this will be reduced by one more it will be two right and then the third one it used to be two and this used to be three now i need to write this into an expression so this will be two right so i need to write this into an expression so this one it can easily be controlled with the help of i zero one two but you can just observe it is not starting with zero one two it's starting with one two three so here i can just replace this with i but for this in order to get one i need to perform i minus one right because the first time i value is zero right zero minus one is minus one second time it is again i value is one one minus one is right minus one minus one minus two that way right so i can write in this particular way now this one you need to put it into a set the reason why we need to put this into a set is because we want it to be in ordered right the set what you're using is basically an ordered set so just use an insert function and then pass on everything okay once you complete this just return the set okay return the set what is the return type set of end done remember here we need to again take up this uh, set here you need to take up this set of in s equal to this then capture this print this and we need to only pass three arguments so let me try to only pass three arguments other things are not required fine let me just go there and compile this code what is the file name we have given manasa underscore iter right compilation done let's execute so let's try to work with one test case uh, three stores two and three we got it four five six then again i'd like to test with one test case four stones ten and hundred clear done 
okay this will be really fast so let, let's take this and let's put into hacker rank we'll take this code submit it here right and yes even this clear is not required because in every iteration you're going to clear create a new set and after every iteration you're going to delete that fine let's run this done sample test case is done so we'll submit this right guys okay so from this what we learned is like for single problem there could be multiple ways and we have to look out for a better way fine okay let me just show you the code just make a note of this particular code guys that's it fine thank you